guys, what is up? It is Eric Austin and the Zaviator coming at you live once again from my home here in Central Florida. But I have a special treat for you guys, as you can tell right now. This is my wife, Danielle, or Mrs. Aviator, as she likes to be called. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're here just to take you guys through a quick setup intro video of our house. This is our house behind us, right here. You can see it. I'm actually going to do a quick spin. See, there's now more than one person in <laughs> I'll try to keep up, cheater. <laughs> In this little green screen of mine, for, it's not a green screen, guys, I swear. Anyway, we have a house behind us. We just bought this house about a month ago. We're super stoked about it. It's our first home together. We're having a baby. You can't quite see. You go, oh, baby, let me see. Oh, yep, we're pregnant. Um, so we're having a little boy in the end of July, and we decided it was time to buy a house. So we bought this house, and it was built in 1925. So. We're trying to do this like MTV MTV crib style, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I can. It's like uh, 2,400 square feet, built in 1925. It's blue. Our car is the same color. Neither of these accident, things were planned. Yeah, accident. total accident. So uh, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I'm gonna basically cut from here, take you guys inside, show you through the house first off, and end in my office. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll talk to you soon. See you later. study this is the final room in the house I get to show you today now I know you guys have seen kind of an intro video to this you saw this angle before of my wall of awesomeness my favorite wall in the house but now you guys get to see in detail exactly what's on the wall what my gaming setup is and everything else so without further ado let me show you a few quick clips of what I use what I do and what's in this room so first and foremost you've got crotch man hanging out on my green wall over here crotch man is a staple I found him in a dumpster in Savannah Georgia I know it sounds crazy but he's sitting right on top of this big construction dumpster and uh, yeah he's uh, he's moved around with me quite a bit since then for whatever reason, he just kind of fits in every house I've been in, and uh, I love him. What can I say? So crotch man's over here. Uh, after that, you've got the, the wall of, of whatever. I don't really have a name for it yet, but I'm working on it. On each side, you've got the helmets. These helmets actually are from a period of my life when I was riding every single day. I was actually out there on, on the track, racing, taking trips to, from here to Alaska and back. Crazy stuff, and each one of them has a really unique story. The one over there on the end with the most scratches on the visor, that was actually run over by a Ford Explorer sport track. I got hit on my head and my right shoulder, and all I ended up breaking was my pinky. That's a, a good testament to wearing good safety gear. I can't encourage you guys enough. Safety gear is everything. Above that, you've got some of my cigar collection. I love good cigars. I have a, a ski from Cypress Gardens, from the ancient days of Cypress Gardens. The top of the shelf, I have actually a propeller for my grandfather. This is the, the one thing my grandfather gave me. He was a war hero, absolutely amazing man. And it's the one thing he ever gave me back in 1997 before he passed away. And it's moved with me, I think, just about every single time I've moved. And that's, this is my 32nd home in the last seven years. So 
quite a few moves. Uh, after that, below this, you see a whole bunch of my cameras and whatnot, spanning from the 1930s and 40s all the way up to modern day technology and actually the one I'm filming on today. So uh, lots of cool stuff and let's see, what else can I finish this up with? Before I get over here to the gaming side and computers and all that fun shenanigans, uh, we've got a parachute. Always a good thing to keep in my office just in case you have to. But without further ado, let's jump over here to the gaming setup. All right, lads and ladies, this is my gaming setup. This is the part of the area that you guys are probably most interested in, and I have to warn you, it's not that special. Uh, I play on an old school, boring, white Xbox 360 that I've had for like four and a half years. This one's actually getting mailed off. For all of you who have a PS3, get excited. I am trading my 360, one of my, I've got two now, I'm trading this 360 for a PS3 Slim so I can play with all of you at my next open lobby time, which I'm super stoked about. Follow my Facebook and Twitter for more information. Above the 360, I have my HD PVR. It's a hot hog. It's great. I love it. It was a big investment at the time because I had no idea what I was going to do with it, but I decided that, you know, it was worth it. And uh, yeah, here we are today. So I'm stoked that I bought it and I'm stoked to be sharing these videos with you now. I really do enjoy like, recording and whatnot. My TV is a Westgate 32-inch uh, LCD. It's nothing special. It's like 1080p. I, I don't even play in 1080p. I play in 1080i because I use the component cables, but it's capable, so that's kind of cool. Uh, the most important thing about my gaming setup that makes mine unique is my incredible set of headphones. Now these headphones have been with me through thick and thin. They're a little bit different than most. These are Turtle Beach X11s. Oh yeah, baby, big pimpin. Uh, they're corded, as you can see. They were expensive, you know, a whole $50. Uh, but most exciting about these, or the most exciting thing about these is the very special add-on. Uh, my headset is literally held together by popsicle sticks and tape. So if anyone wants to buy this from me or trade me their Astro A40s or PX5s or Tritons or whatever for these, I'll sign them and send them to you because they've been with me for about seven months and as much as I have to say that we love each other, I don't love them that much. <laughs> they literally held together with popsicle sticks though and I thought that was kind of cool. All right, let me go over here and show you my computer setup. I'll see you in a second. All right, guys, so this is my computing setup. This is what I live on. This is where I basically spend the majority of my time. I've got this freaking awesome brand new chair from Ikea that I'm in love with. And there's a whole big story about the other blue chair that was in my office, that one. Uh, my wife hates the chair so much. She's actually going to do what she can to not only destroy it, but to set it on fire, blow it up, shoot it, knife it. Basically, she hates it. She asked to see if I could drop it out of the back of an airplane. I told her I'd work on it, so yeah. Crazy stuff, love the new chair. It's way better than the old chair. Uh, anyway, really quick, just walking around what I use for computing stuff. This is a MacBook Pro, it's 15 inch. It's last generations, I got it about uh, eight months ago, 10 months ago. Freaking awesome, eight gigs of RAM, maxed out for everything else. And it makes my life somewhat decent as far as computing goes because between video output and photo output is quite a lot of work, but hey. It gets the job done. I also have a series of other PCs and laptops and uh, Mac laptops around the house that kind of keep things moving for me so I can multitask when I have to and yeah, it keeps things going. So aside from that, blue Yeti microphone, a uh, series of external hard drives. I think I have eight different external hard drives that I use on a fairly regular basis and yeah, that's it guys. So I hope you enjoyed the study. I know this wasn't the most amazingly intricate, detailed setup video, but it was a little bit different for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, guys, thank you so much for watching these videos. I'm super stoked to be living in this home and uh, to be recording videos for you guys. Just being able to share with you all everything that I love in life has just been such an honor. So guys, look forward to Saturday's video. We're putting together the most epic, awesome adventure that I brought to you yet. And with that, I'm done. I'll see you all later. Peace.